Mr. Speaker, I rise today to bring attention to the migrant crisis in my home state of Massachusetts. Massachusetts is the only state with the right to shelter to law that guarantees every family with children a place to stay. According to recent reporting in the New York Times, 80 cities and towns across the Commonwealth have received migrants to date, with the number of families living in emergency shelters and hotels statewide doubling in the past year to nearly 6,300 last week. As the great-grandson of Jews who fled the Russian pogroms, I take seriously, like so many do, upholding the values of this nation was founded upon, including providing a safe haven for those seeking refuge. But that promise is under threat now by our broken immigration system. Right now, Governor Healy and her administration are doing everything they can to rise to the challenge. But without federal action to fix what was a federal problem, states will continue to operate with their hands tied behind their backs. In addition to passing a disaster supplemental to provide FEMA with additional resources for states, we should be having a serious conversation in Washington about how to fix our immigration system to provide safe and legal pathways to entry. Last Congress, Democrats invited Republicans to the table in good faith to make progress on issues like infrastructure. Now Republicans should do the same on immigration instead of demonizing those seeking a better life for themselves and their families. I yield back. The chair lays before the House the following personal request. Leave of absence requested for Ms. Jackson Lee of Texas for today. Without objection, the request is granted. For what purpose does the gentleman from Massachusetts seek recognition? To make a motion for the House to adjourn. Uh, the